I said it a long time ago, but one of my favorite type of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! is the Neospatian cards. And I am so happy because I am finally trying out the brand new support that makes this deck absolutely insane. But I'm even more excited to announce that I've teamed up with Konami for the Road to Worlds event that will take place in Tokyo this August. Anyone who has Master Duel can qualify and become a world champion. That is, if you're good enough. And here's how. Starting on May 9th, anyone who participates by logging into Master Duel will be able to receive 1,000 gems as well as a Royal Finish Blackwing Full Armor Master Card and an icon featuring the Full Armor Master himself. To participate, Stage 1 of the Qualifier will begin May 15th, lasting until May 28th. Those who rank up to max level for Stage 1 will then be allowed to participate in Stage 2, the Regional Qualifier, on May 25th until May 28th. Regional Qualifiers with the highest points during this period will be chosen as their region's rep, and if that's you, you'll be allowed to choose two other players in your region to join you in Tokyo at Worlds. Once there, the World Championship Finals will be held in Tokyo on August 5th and 6th and will be team-based in groups of three. But hey, even if you don't go that far, you still get the Thousand Gems and the Royal Finish card along with the icon, so there's no reason not to participate. Anyways, I've decided to enter using my Neos deck with the new supports. I know Sprite and Tier Limit will likely be a big threat, but uh, I believe in Neos more than I believe in them, so I'm not afraid. But I probably should warm up, so I decided to take this deck into ranked and play a couple matches. Now, I've said all that, but the hard truth is uh, I'm only Silver, and I'm still learning the Neos support, but I feel pretty confident in where I'm at now to the point where I'm ready to jump into these ranked matches. Oh, lost the coin toss. So far from what I'm seeing, this deck really enjoys going second. So hopefully, oh, thank you very much. What a kind soul. You know, you can always appreciate a dark magician avatar user. I'm also on the night skyscraper streets and a decent opening hand. We really like seeing a hero lives. Obviously, we're going to lose 4,000 life points, but that's a price that we just have to be willing to pay as Neos players. Our opponent gets to start the game off first. Let's see what they have in store for us. Hopefully, it's nothing too crazy. We do have a bit of a lightning storm. Hoping to see a bit more back row here. Go on, just, just fill up the whole back row. Treat your boy. Oh, chocolate magician girl. Oh, okay. That's, I honestly, that's based. I like that. That's a good card. Oh. Uh, Oh, well, now not so fun. And do I do I hit this? Discard one spellcaster monster, draw one card. Um, do we want him to draw a card? No. Let's just not even let him do that. Let's just just stop that. Just stop that in its tracks. We're not gonna let him draw, but he did get to discard. That might have been the intent of the move here. Uh no, actually. I, I'm not seeing anything. And now again, I've never been great at reading. Ooh, see, this is what we should have saved it for. Yep. 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 So that was a misplay on my part, but that's fine. You know, I misplay all the time. Maybe he'll even set those spells and traps. Oh, oh, possible jackpot here. I'll take two. I'll take two. So we're going to go ahead and start our draw phase off with a dark ruler. No more. Pretty powerful card. Doesn't let any uh, monster effects happen. Uh, and neither player can react to it, which is awesome. Uh, but first, let's just go ahead. Lightning storm. Destroy those spells and traps. Obviously, he'll have a chance to activate them. But do we care? Hopefully he doesn't. And he's gone. Okay, well, <clears throat> next duel. Okay, I cannot win a coin toss to save my life today. We do get to go second once again, though. This hand is not the greatest. We don't have any of our hand traps in here, which is unfortunate, but... Oh my, oh no, we're going up against math. My my worst subject. Okay, that's gonna be pretty hard for us to deal with. I'm not going to lie. This this deck is is brutal. This this one's always been brutal to me. I, I feel like this is the perfect field for math mechs though. Math mech diameter, math mech circular. They're all talking. They're all getting their effects off now. It's looking rough. Not the equation. They've added the math mech equation to their hand. We do possess one of the most powerful fusion cards in our arsenal, though, in Neos Fusion. This card allows us to special summon one fusion monster from our deck that includes elemental hero Neos. Just by, I mean, we could do any of them. It's from our deck. So really, it's point, it's, it's point and play. The only bad part about Neos Fusion is that it does lock us out from special summoning for the rest of the turn. So whatever we hit with this needs to be a big one, and it's looking like we might need to call upon some of our biggest monsters if we're going to stand even the slightest chance. If we draw Polymerization, we have a actually pretty cracked amount of graveyard effects to draw from, though. But here he goes. He's going into Cyber's Wicked. He's busting out the equation just to get it out of the graveyard onto the field. What's he going to link into next? Banishes a card from the graveyard to get a Cyber's Tuner. It's going to be Mathmech Nabla. Oh, no! It's Deco Talker Heat Soul. That is a lot of back row, man. Hey! Hey, whoa! Light, uh, please, Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm, please, 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 please. Draw! 
No, 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 no. That is not good for me. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not sure what we really go about doing here. I guess I go in for a Stratos play. We just play Stratos. But honestly, honestly, this is not a good look. We could go into Rainbow uh, Rainbow Neos to try and send all these trap cards back to the, you know, the deck. But would we even get to that point? Would he not just find a way to negate it with four back row set? That is not pretty. Our opponent's clearly thinking about whether or not he wants to stop Elemental Hero Stratos. I kind of hope he does. Honestly, if he wants to stop Stratos, that, that's not bad. What? Yeah, must have scared him off. Oh, now we've got some interesting card combos that I'm excited to show off. Okay, okay. The third duel is all it took to get an interesting hand. We are going to be seeing some pretty big pluses here with the Forbidden Droplet to stop any negative effects, maybe depending on how many cards we have. And it looks like we're going up against a classic Dark Magician deck. Dark Magical Circle could pose an issue if it gets to that point. I'm not sure it will, though. We might be able to just turbo throw it. Oh my goodness, it's Chocolate Magician Girl again. He's going to get the draw, though. I, I, uh, I'm just going to let that happen happen this time. Chocolate Magician Girl's effect does come out here, and Dark Magician Girl is what they ditch. Drawing a card at the cost of Dark Magician Girl. That seems a little, little harsh to me, but that's the turn? You've put yourself in a very dangerous position here, but... Man, now we have a lot of plays available to us. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to activate a new piece of Neo support in N, Engage Neo Space. This allows us to send one Neo Spatia monster and one Elemental Hero monster, one from the hand, one from the deck, and special summon one Neo Spatia monster level five or higher. So let's just go ahead, play this, and let's get it popping. All right, so first we're going to get with the Neos in our hand. So that's Aqua Dolphin. Then we're going to take one in our deck. So we go with Shadow Mist because once Shadow Mist hits the graveyard, we're also going to get an extra effect off that. And the one we want to special summon is usually I go for Spirit of Neos. I'm not sure if this is correct just yet, but him getting special summoned allows us to get a poly to our hands, which is why I do it. Uh, or wait, sorry. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, he's not the poly. Uh, and then we get the Shadow Mist as well. Look at this. This is how plus you can go with new Neo support. It is amazing. Shadow Mist. Let's us get a card from our deck. Usually I go with just liquid, just in case I could do anything. Now we get to add any fusion monster we want. So what I'm thinking, honestly, is do I get crazy or do I go stupid? I'm going to get crazy and go a little stupid here, I think. I'm going to get a little crazy, go a little stupid. So first, we're going to activate the effect of Crosskeeper. This is going to discard to the graveyard and allow us to spring forth our special summoned. We can pretty much special summon anything. I think I really do. I kind of want to go for Aqua Dolphin. Is that stupid? Is going for Aqua Dolphin dumb? This would give us his effect which i think would be pretty funny you know what get aqua dolphin back actually wait it's too late to say wait man i messed up i should have got the elemental hero for the fusion play but i wanted to be funny i wanted to be a funny guy okay so i'm going to go pretty crazy here what i'm going to do is i'm going to activate spirit of neos to shuffle him back and special summon one normal elemental hero monster obviously we know who that's going to be right so i'm going to shuffle him back bring out a normal elemental hero neos Call me crazy. I'm then going to activate Instant Contact, another new piece of support that allows me to pay a thousand life points and special summon one level seven or lower Elemental Hero or Neo Spatia Monster from my extra deck. That choice is, of course, going to be Flame Wingman, even though I could have many choices here. But I'm going to do Flame Wingman because I'm going to do a little stupid play here. I'm going to activate the effect of Crosskeeper, who states once I fusion summon an Elemental Hero Monster, I get to draw two, another plus. I do have to put one back to the deck. And I'll do, hmm. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Let's get rid of engage and i think i'm going to lightning uh, i can't lightning storm whoops i don't i control monsters whoops that was my bad now now we just do the crazy thing so if you look at my extra deck i do in fact have elemental hero shining neos wingman one neos one wingman fusion monster and the effects go crazy let's walk it through now so we go with the poly get rid of flame wingman and neos face up attack Boom, he's here, look at him. Uh, he hits the field, 4,000 attack. That's not all. I get to use a little bit of my abilities now. I get to select one to two cards to destroy. Let's start with this, and then also I'll do this. I'm not a little crazy. But then that's not all either. You know what, why, why, why would I not just go stupid, go crazy? Neo Space Connector, Special Summon, speed up the editing editor. Editor, make the video go faster, it's getting crazier. Grand Ball into Neos Fusion to bring out Rainbow Neos by ditching both Neos and Rainbow Dragon. And now I'm gonna, oh, I can't use Aqua Dolphin. No, I just discarded a card by accident. It doesn't matter. It boosted my attack points. Got him. All right, now let's get a little crazy, shall we? One and two. 
and it's over just like that we put over 8,000 points of damage and potentially way more if i didn't play the way i did but you can see how quickly this deck can ramp up let's go ahead and get into another match obviously i'm hoping for a duel here where we can see a bit more back and forth the neos deck isn't like super top tier meta or anything so i do want to show it getting like pushed around and we keep getting second everybody's being very nice to me we got the golden field huh all right pretty good going second hand we didn't get any big fusion pop-off cards though so we're gonna have to hope we see that um um, we want to stop that right away. Tier limits. Ah, oh, this is this is one of the this is one of the archetypes that's going to pose some problems at the upcoming uh, at the upcoming event. We're going to just Ash Blossom it. Honestly, we I, I I'm I'm not experienced at all against tier limits. I just know they are scary, and uh, I hope I can outpilot them. But let's be real, it might not happen. Oh wait, that doesn't even matter, huh? Agito, the Ancient Sentinel, does hit the field, and tier limits is here as well. And they're gone into Time Thief Redoer. Interesting play. Comes out, hits the field. Time Thief Redoer can steal the top card from our deck. Hopefully it's not a good hit. Please don't be a good hit. I really need it to be bad here. If it's Neos Fusion, I'm upset. I'm gonna be very, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cry. Please don't do, come on, man. Wait, what? what, what happened? Oh, he, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, he only had, he only had two monsters to banish. Why did he do that? Did he just want to stack his graveyard perhaps? That was a real interesting play. I'm not sure if I understand it. But again, oh, oh, the top card was Neo's fusion. It heard me. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him take that. I don't really mind, I guess. What did he take? My lightning storm. Hey, that would have been a pretty good card too. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. We're going to just go ahead and normal summon Grand Mole. Not really a play I would do often in this deck, but it's still just a totally fine play. Then we're going to go into Neo's fusion. Uh, and what comes next might be a little crazy, but we'll have to see what happens. If he can stop Neo's fusion, that's pretty bad for us. It doesn't look like he wants to. Ah, uh, So this is where it gets confusing. I could go for Rainbow Neos, but I could also go for the beat down, which would let us search out more spells but I am a little bit worried about that back row there, especially if he's choosing not to activate it now. So I'm just going to go for the big play. I think we go big or go home. Again, tier limits, very scary card to see. So I'm just going to try to do everything in my power to stop it. Doesn't look like anything's happening just yet. So I'm just going to play Forbidden Droplets, not to use it, just to use my effect on it. Rainbow Neos lets us send one spell and trap we control to the graveyard to shuffle all theirs back in the deck. So rain... Droplet's going to hit the graveyard, which is a harsh lose for us. But if this card's not activatable, I'll take it as a win. We want to shuffle that card back into the deck. Keep it as far away from me as possible. It's in the deck. Okay, good. After that, we're just going to... Well, I guess I leave that up just in case. I'm going to go ahead and let Grand Mole just send him back, maybe? Do I do that? Yeah, we do that. I don't want to give him anything else in his graveyard. Oh, he does get to draw one card, though. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. He gets to go plus one. We're gonna. We're just going to let a Grand Mole go back, bounce back to our hand, just so we have an extra bit of Super Poly target in case. 4,500. I'll take it. Set the Super Poly just in case. Boom. All right, go. Now it's your turn. Now you get to play the game. This is bad. I only have one card set face down, and Rainbow Neos is completely defenseless. Or at least that's what he thinks. Yeah, got a little bit of defense right here now, too. Uh, hopefully he doesn't force me to use it, though. Sets a card. That's, that, that is not... Oh, now he's forcing me to the side again. Well, what would I be more afraid of? The monster or the spell and trap? Probably the... Oh, I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Yep, I don't see the, I don't see the monster really causing ah, uh, but the monster could add more to the graveyard though. But then I could also just bounce the monster back. It's really not that big of a deal. I think I'm overthinking this. Go for the spell and trap, grand mole the monster. It's it's that simple. Super Poly, get out of here. Yep, I'm sending that back. What's this? Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! This was not a part of the deal, dude. Um, but do I care? I don't think I care. I don't think I really care, to be honest. I'm going to activate the effect of Miracle Fusion. It won't give me anything too crazy, but I want to activate it now to get my elemental hero, Neos. Let's get rid of that and just go ahead and use the Ash Blossom in our graveyard. That card's not getting any more use. And welcome back, brave Neos. If this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect. Okay, well, I'm not really worried about sending it to the graveyard by card effect, but I could also bump it back to his hand. I think we should just take it out now. I think we should just take it out now, to be honest. Does he have anything in his graveyard that I'm particularly afraid of? I think we bounce back the monster he set. Just bounce it back. Get it out of here. We we go for the Brave Neos. This is not going to destroy it by card effect, but this will let us activate Brave Neos' effect to search out a fusion spell. And this should end the game. And it does. Okay. Well, we're out of the fire on that one. I think that was mostly just because we played quick. So we didn't really have to get into a back and forth game, but that's exactly what you want to do with this deck sometimes. And we get the rank up to silver tier three. I got to get, man, I got to get back to plat and then further beyond. 
third duel. This one is just going to be the one where I let loose. I've talked about the cards enough. You understand it. I like that card base. You understand it. I'll keep explaining any big plays I go through, but I got to let loose. I got to let my hair down. I got to streak out of silver. Somebody got to take a hot streak. Ooh, the trap card favor contact. Another great piece of new support. This one just lets us straight up special summon one fusion monster from our extra deck with a hero as material, ignoring its summoning conditions. So it's just that crazy. And if I place elemental heroes into the deck, neither player can return the monster special summon by it to the extra deck. So just an extra piece of more defense. Just a great card overall. I only run one of them though, but one's really all you need of this guy. All he does is set a card face down. I gotta go crazy. Draw! Maxi, a bit of hand trap just in case he has a plan for us. Like I said earlier in the video, you might be able to piece it together. We're gonna go with a hero lives. 4,000, but we get Stratos from it. Stratos hits the field, and Stratos is gonna let us add one hero monster from our deck to our hand. That hero monster is going to be none other than Shadow Mist. The reason we go for Shadow Mist is again, that graveyard effect is gonna be very nice when we summon Shadow Mist, and then we're gonna wanna link into Predaplant. Classic card as old as time itself. Link away, Predaplant hits the field. Even if this doesn't go off, not the biggest deal in the world, we still get that graveyard effect which is very, very nice. Just gonna go ahead and add a bit of a liquid soldier here. And again, we can play pretty safe knowing that we do have favor contact to back us up. We don't wanna get too low here. I think we might want to go for maybe a classic poly. Classic poly could be pretty good here. We could just need, yeah, let's just, honestly, with my life points being this low, I'm just going to Neo's fusion because I kind of want to go for rainbow Neos. It's getting a little scary. I'm not going to lie. It's a little scary with that low life points, um, but now we have some protection. We can get rid of Predaplant, not even have to interact with his monster that much. So Predaplant, sorry, I love you. Gotta go. Get back to the deck. Don't want to see that card anymore. Still main phase one, just set. Now we're in a very strong position for the rest of the game. A lot of defense here. Maxi in our hand in case he goes crazy. Uh, but yeah, and Spirit of Neos in our hand as well. That's huge. Could he not have an answer? Oh my goodness. He's taking it as a... Well, fine. I'm activating favor contact anyway. Yeah, yeah. You should have known about me. You should have known about me. I'll go with Elemental Hero Sunrise because it's a pretty important card in the deck, honestly. So let's get Neos back in the deck and Shadow Mist as well boom boom back to the deck and bing bing just for sunrise to hit the field sunrise gives us even more plus allowing us to get miracle fusion and now the turn is over the game is pretty much over too but can i get crazy nope well let me get crazy anyway let me show another plus i'm going to special summon a level four i'll get stratos i'm going a little crazy here just to just to pump the numbers up two heroes add a card from my deck i'm just gonna go ahead and get a neos at this point why not he might as well stare at me while i get the win then i'll activate miracle fusion because that'll allow me to fuse liquid soldier and stratos together to form absolute zero a card that is pretty nuts in and of itself but i'm mostly doing this just to get liquid in the graveyard because then i get to go plus even more no i don't because i think i banished them <clears throat> i'm still learning the deck that that's embarrassing sorry about this But there you go. Obviously, I still need to rank up. Gets into some more like... I still want to test this deck against some heavier competition. But for now, that is going to be the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to see this deck come back in another video, just let me know. And once again, thank you to Konami for allowing me to be a part of this. I'm just such a big fan of the game, so I appreciate them reaching out. And again, starting on May 9th, anyone who participates by logging into Master Duel will receive a 1,000 gems and a Royal Finish Blackwing Full Armor Master Card and a whole ton more. And of course, don't forget to participate in Stage 1 of the Qualifiers, which begin May 15th and last until May 28th. So definitely get out there, have some fun, try it out. And again, even if you don't win, you still get that thousand gems and the Royal Finish card. You can't go wrong. Thank you to Kanavi. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good one. I have been Dada Doya, and I will see you in the next video.